Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Hit the button, baby. When black holes collide, baby. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Ladies and all right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I have returned, and we're gonna have some fun. Now, try to take yourself too seriously, NASA, and anybody really, because as the world falls apart, we should try to fix it. Maybe enjoy life a little. Don't let the bastards drag us down. So you ready to have a smile on your face? Well, I'm bringing it to you because the Hubble helps confirmed the oldest known planet. Asterisk, double asterisk, asterisk squared, LOL what? First of all, that don't look like no Hubble photograph. <laughs> so we got a story where the Hubble Space Telescope, you know, the greatest telescope of all time, so great they're never gonna replace it. Asterisk, why does it take you 25 years to replace a telescope? Anyway, so the Hubble, which is a telescope that takes photographs, this article from NASA is showing us a artistic rendering. Maybe the Hubble doesn't take photographs. It just makes artistic renderings? I don't know. I'm just saying. So you got, you got a NASA official Hubble article with an artistic rendering. And you're talking about confirming the oldest known planet. Like, yeah, dude, this shit's been verified and totally confirmed. We know for a fact that this is the oldest known planet that we know of. Because if there's one thing scientists love to do, that's date planets. Apparently, they give great aurora. All right, that was a dirty joke. I kept it PG-13, or PG, whatever. Let's get to the hardcore meat of the science. Long before our sun and Earth ever existed, a Jupiter-sized planet formed around a sun-like star. Oh, I'm getting all teary-eyed. Now, almost 13 billion years later, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has precisely measured the mass of this farthest and oldest known planet. And you can't disagree with the Hubble, man. It is the greatest scientist on the planet. And the last guy that disagreed with the Hubble, the Hubble punched him so hard in the face, all his face bones shattered dust and he died. So argue with the Hubble at your own peril. The ancient planet has a remarkable history because it is wound up in an unlikely rough neighborhood. Well, wound up in an unlikely rough neighborhood, but if it's that rough of a neighborhood, then it definitely has a wound, much like Mars's Valles Marineris. It orbits a peculiar pair of burned out stars in the crowded core of a globular star cluster. The new Hubble findings close a decade of speculation and debate as to the nature of this ancient world, which takes a century to complete each other. You complete me. And um, other places are calling this the Genesis planet. But like over the Daily Galaxy, they're like, the Genesis planet. And once again, they use the same artistic rendering. And notice they didn't even put like, whether that's a photograph or nothing. I'm pretty sure that's not a photograph. It don't look like Earth at all. And so, I don't, this is a Genesis moment for all of us. My band, Lightning Amendment, is coming back together to make an album. Sage and I are coming back together to go to Hearst Castle. Uh, that should be a fun video, don't you think? This is a rebirth for many of us. Because I tell you what, the energy out in the universe now is crazy. And people are going crazier. Expect other human beings to kind of melt down. Even the good people, you're going to have a bit of a meltdown. But when, you, when that finishes, hopefully you'll be stronger and better than ever. But the bad people, they're going to melt down and some might explode. So just be careful. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to superhero on you. But you know, that happens from time to time here. The new Hubble findings close a decade of speculation and debate as to the true nature of this ancient world, which takes a century to complete each orbit. The planet, and if that sounds familiar to you, that's because I just read it, and I apologize. The planet is 2.5 times the mass of Jupiter. Its very existence provides tantalizing evidence the first planets were formed rapidly within a billion years of the Big Bang. That doesn't sound very rapid, man. Um... How long can you make love? At least three plank seconds. I don't know what that means. Right now, I can't make love. My love is not with me. I'm still in Texas. That shall be remedied soon. Within a billion years of the Big Bang, leading astronomers to conclude planets may be very abundant in the universe. The planet lies, really, near the core of the ancient globular star cluster M4, located 5,600 light years away in the summer constellation Scorpius. Globular clusters are deficient in heavier elements because they formed so early in the universe that heavier elements had not been cooked up in abundance in the nuclear furnaces of stars. And how do we know this? Because Bill Nye is so old. He was there when it happened. And he wrote it on the walls of caves. So we would remember. Luckily, he's still alive. Vampires are damn near eternal. Some astronomers have therefore argued globular clusters cannot contain planets. Yeah, astronomers argue a lot of shit, dude. 
Actually, no, they don't. They all agree on everything. Or, no, they don't. I don't know. See, I hadn't done a video in a week or so. God, I guess it was only four days, but it sure feels like forever. Time's going by real fast. And real slow. I can't tell. I'm not going to finish this article. Like, you're telling me all this crap, and I can't even get up. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Like, is there anything interesting left? We'll just skip the last paragraph. With with a mass of only 2.5 Jupiters, the object is too small to be a star or a brown dwarf and must instead be a planet. And remember, the official science definition for a planet is pretty bogus. It's like you gotta have hydrostatic equilibrium, which means you're round. And then you gotta clear your orbit. And what's clear your orbit mean? I don't know, it's pretty hazy. Anyway, so yeah, they found, the Hubble found the oldest planet ever, Genesis. We had all started, guess. But they're so confident in this confirmation, they cannot verify it to the public with a photograph. Because it's probably like five pixels, two pixels, one pixel. And the, and the public would laugh at them. And NASA hates to be laughed at. Most scientists do, really. They take themselves real seriously. There's no room for humor in science. Broseph. <sighs> anyway, there you go. White dwarfs, brown dwarfs, giant Jupiters, and no photographs. Such is the state of science. But nobody got shot, nobody got killed. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. God bless everybody. I'm back, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Treat everybody real well, please, if you can. You know, like, try to have some patience. Don't judge other people. And uh, let's try and get along and save this place. Man, these are scary times. But my smile is back, and my band is back together. And so is my love. So, things are looking pretty good right now. You know, we are all in this together. Don't forget that. God bless everyone.